a program to keep drug offenders recovering and on track now has a new twist to it. It sure does. A reward system is in place for those succeeding. WRTV's Caitlin Kendall is getting an up close look at the wheel inside the courtroom. Tiffany Luna. I was happy I did it. Inside courtroom C57. Not your traditional mood for people attending court. I'm like, come on, baby, let's go. Let's get ready. Let's go to court. It's excitement to walk through the doors of the Community Justice Center. I love it. It's not often you hear offenders say they love court. But inside this courtroom, everybody I think likes a chance to win something. There's fun. Spend the will, see what you win. <laughs> It's drug court. Many of the people in this room have been heavy drug users charged with felonies. The whole surrounding from the selling the prostituting to the selling drugs to the maintaining your your high. Kimberly Layton was what she called a hardcore crack cocaine addict. It slanted her in jail for 17 years total. She lost her four kids because of it too. The crack cocaine made me a horrible person. Horrible decisions. You know, I was careless, self self centered. She's not the only one fighting for sobriety here. If I can do it, anybody can do it. Tiffany Luna's drug of choice? Meth. I got like three to four dope cases. I have two batteries, um, resisting arrest. I had like eight felonies. But both of these women wanted more for their lives. There's three outcomes dead, jail, or miserable. Choose wisely, and I chose to get the hell out. <laughs> so, Which is how she got enrolled in the drug court program a diversion opportunity for offenders. We're inside here, they're people, not criminals. Number 11, Kimberly Layton. Judge Jose Salinas and his team decided to introduce the wheel. A prize wheel for people who are considered to be in good standing with the court and on the right path towards sobriety. It's good, it feels good stepping up to that part. There's no get out of jail free price here, but plenty of small incentives from virtual court appearances and candy to a fist bump with Judge Salinas. I was like, wow, like I fist bumped the judge. The jackpot of prizes. The $25 gift card. <laughs> it's the little things. They helped me pick myself up off the ground. Like support, kindness, and incentives that those who are down on their luck say makes the world of difference. Because if it weren't for them having faith in me, I think I would have lost all faith in myself, period. In Indianapolis. And I'm doing it. Caitlin Kendall, WRTV. Now, the drug program is a year-long. Offenders have to pass weekly drug tests, show up to court, comply with treatment, and stay in touch with their lawyers and case managers. After they graduate the program, their charges are dropped. Detailed information on how the drug court program works and how the wheel came about will be on our website at WRTV.com.